To perform a query in essence using the query wizard, start by going to the query portal. The query wizard allows you to choose the data source you are interested in querying here in the upper left. Next to that is time resolution from which you can select daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly. Next, you select the detector, which is the algorithm to be used to produce the alerts that you will see in the time series graph. The default detector is regression EWMA switch. You can choose to make it a percentage-based query by choosing which field you want as your factor for which to create the percentage. You can also select the start date and end date for the query. From the left panel on the next set of options, you can select from available query fields. The query fields options will be dependent upon the data source you selected. For each query field selected, the field-specific options are displayed in the center panel. These options can be simple combo box pulldowns, number ranges selectors, date range selectors, free text query fields, or adder style select boxes for very large lists. For our example, I will choose the syndrome filter and search for a value of fever. And once selected, I will click Select in order to add it to my query. On the right-hand side of the pane, you will now see the choices that are currently selected. Sometimes there are defaults for a data source. In this case, the default geography system is region, and the default medical grouping system is syndromes. Once you are done building your query, you can choose an action button at the bottom of the screen to decide what you're going to do with your query. Your choices include table builder, time series, which is the most common, data details, graph builders, overviews, and advanced queries, which you can use if you need to make more complicated queries. The explain query action button can be used if you are unsure about the logical aspects of the query you're building. This is especially useful for when performing percentage-based queries. The explain query will display a visual representation of your query in order to explain what is being queried. With percent queries, it will describe what parameters will be on the numerator and which fields will be active in the denominator. If you wish to save query filters to be used in future queries, you can save your current filters as a MyFilter. Good examples for use as a MyFilter feature include complex free text queries or collections of geographic areas that you wish to use numerous times in the future. Once you have built your filter, in the bottom right-hand panel of the Query Wizard, you can name your filter and click Create. Once you have created My Filters, you can choose them by clicking on the My Filters parameter in the Available Query Fields panel. Once a My Filter is chosen, it will display the parameters it will set. All applicable fields will be chosen once you use the Select button. You can then continue building your query by adding any other filters you want to add for that specific query. One thing to note about My Filters, they are not specific to a data source. This means that if any fields in your My Filter are not applicable to the currently chosen data source, you will see that field struck through in the visual representation in the My Filters panel. This lets you know when it's selected that that particular part of the My Filter will be ignored for this data source.